Ah, shit. Here we go again. Well, that was a painful 25 quid. Honestly, who would have thought that Armstrong Powerhouse and Masky Simulations would team up again to make a brand new 156? All for the price of money! But is it worth that money? Well, let's have an in-depth look at this beast of a pack to find out. But before we start, please put F in the chat for the old Class 150 sound pack and Albie's entire 156 reskin collection. We haven't forgotten about your reskins either, Richard Fletcher. Anyway, let's go! Now from first glance, we can already tell that the modelling on this is just absolutely brilliant, with each bit of detail captured really well to represent these units as close to reality as possible. I mean just look at those windows, aren't they so much more accurate than the ones on the UV model? Please tell me you're seeing this difference. The pack also comes with a staggering 21 liveries, as well as several different interior and exterior variations depending on which livery selected. Pretty cool. In the passenger view, you get two different variants of seats, all completed with a selection of different moquette designs for each livery. May I also point out, Armstrong Powerland, that you miss two other types of seats, one of them being those ironing boards we all know and love. I wonder why that didn't make the final product. Oof. But who cares, it's only seats anyway. And let's not forget this shameless self plug. Y yeah. Why not? There are also three different cab variants as well, ranging from old to present day. And lastly, Plowy! Nah, tell you what, the script weren't good enough so that just had to be in there. Compared to the UV156, you get six liveries. That's it. Looking at the rest of the AP156 key features, you get pretty much what it says on the tin. Roll slip protection, cold start mode, would you like a jumper? NRN and GSMR, destination blinds and displays, dynamic exhaust effects which you can control with the clag factor, and finally, coupling procedures. Get it? The only thing that they missed out was driver only operation. But don't worry, I know exactly why that isn't included. That's why. Compared to the UV156, the closest thing you have to a cool feature are these scrolling destination blinds. If there were more destinations to choose from, you'd be better off with a Super Altery skin. LOL. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's give this thing a drive. Now, I decided to take a different approach to this pack, and instead did not watch the trailer first like I normally do just to surprise myself a bit. And the one thing I can't get over are these fantastic door animations. Look how it bounces back slightly before closing. That is a really nice touch. Can you do that UV156? Nope. And my gosh aren't the sounds on this just superb. Especially in the passenger view. Oh, that sounds good. Ooh. I can't wait to hear those brand new brake club sounds! Oh no, it's the same ones from the 150 Enhancement Pack! Even the brake spool is the same too! But that doesn't stop me from enjoying this. Oh no no no, this is epic. I wonder if the UV156 of the old sound pack installed can beat this. You know what, just go home mate. You know that your old ass sounds cannot compare to these newer ones. Fick off. <laughs> and now for the one million dollar question. Is this pack worth $24.99? Kind of. The 156 is great in my opinion, but not $24.99 great. That's way too much money. This is more worth it at around 20 quid, or even the price of the S-Stock if you prefer. However, I can see why it does cost $24.99, because of the amount of effort that has been put into this. At the end of the day, AP are a business, and because of rising inflation, it means that packs are becoming more and more expensive. Besides, the money you spend on AP go towards them developing even more packs, because you don't want to see them die off now, do you? If AP dies, train sim dies, unless you want to cope with this still. But again, class 465 exists. 
download his sound mods. Oof, we finally reached the end of the video. You know, I wonder what AP's next pack will be, because I think we've waited long enough for something to at least happen to this train. Get chopping then. Oh yeah, in before all the comments about what I just said about AP. Get your pitchforks and torches ready lads, this is going to be interesting.